Okay, so hi all. My name is Rizwana Relief and this is my YouTube channel. I'm going to be talking about my favorite books, shows I like and the music I like because I like talking. I like talking very much and I'm kind of lonely, so why not use this time uh talking? <laughs> so yeah. So today I thought of uh talking about my favorite book in the whole world. I remember when I got this book I was shopping with my best friend and I went into this bookstore with her and we took a lot of good pictures and it was like an amazing moment for me. Of course I was looking for Colleen Hoover books and I found this very book. It was Love at First Sight. I didn't read um the summary or whatever was written on the back. I didn't read any of that and I just blindly bought the book. Such a pretty book. I feel like I could use it as my pillow to sleep on. Tada! My favorite book in the whole world. I cherish and love this book so very much like literally I I don't know seeing this book just brings me so much joy. and i just think i i don't think i can live without this book like now that i found it i don't think i can lend this book to anyone this is just like my copy i just want to keep it close to my heart all the time so yeah i just look at this book at least once in a day and i feel so much better already oh i just hold on the reason why i just enjoy this book so much should i keep holding it in one position does it trigger you if it's otherwise but i just can't help it so yeah So the reason why I enjoyed this book so much is that all the characters are very complex and they've all got a story to tell and I stopped listening to everyone's story and I completely I just put my whole focus on to merit and it was worth it because merit is the type of character you can't let go of easily she's just that one person who just like stands out in a room full of people kind of situation for how different she is for how cool she is for how real she is i feel like um she is the first character i found relatable in my life maybe it's because of all the characters i've seen they've all been like they've been cute they've been perfect they make their tiny mistakes and that's all but when it comes to merit she is the kind of character to be real throughout she did things her way in a way that it would make sense to her in a way that she could justify it and i feel like we um at least i i make I made similar mistakes like merit and I've been in a kind of family where I've had to keep a lot of secrets um they're not such uh, big secrets they're the kind of secrets we won't be able to talk about again at home once it's said it's done there uh, no one's going to talk about it again and we don't have to bring it up again no matter how traumatized the person is and the fact that they talked about secrets in this book just meant the whole world to me because I'm the kind of person who can relate to that part of this book um and the characters when i'm talking about my favorite characters i think it's um of course it's merit although i despised the stepmother victoria is that her name i don't remember but yeah i despised her at the very beginning because of course she was portrayed in that way we didn't know her at all until she stood up for merit in ways i didn't expect her to in ways her own mother didn't and that just that just that was the way to my heart and i don't think i can i can forget that and that just meant the whole world to me third favorite character could be uh segan is that how we say his name i'm not sure but segan is my third favorite character and the, the and the reason is um i I don't really know maybe it's because of his artistic side and i draw a lot and i thought that was cool and I I don't know it was very nice the way he was interacting with Merit and the way he understood her to some point at least and I don't know I think he, I think he liked her for herself like however she was and that was perfect enough for him and she just had to discover herself I think that's what it was I don't know I could be wrong and I also like the baby brother and his interactions with Merit because that was really cute and uh, I didn't expect is such a bond and i'm not i'm not a fan of babies so this is a first for me and yeah the little donut thing they had that was really cute uh, i don't know if i'm allowed to say this but i i just loved her little interaction with her god <clears throat> it <laughs> i don't know it just it was it was cute to me i don't know yeah that was that was real fun and all the all the banter with her dad although it, 
probably wasn't funny to her dad i don't know i think that was cute as well that was that was real nice and although the dad didn't talk a lot i felt like he had a lot to say but he just didn't know how to i'm the type of person who could see through i'm not like other girls i'm just kidding but no i'm the type of person that like i could see through such stuff so like when i felt like her dad was struggling and i and he just wanted to like have a better relationship with his daughter so that was that i haven't annotated in this book like i haven't marked it in any way or sort because i i don't know this because this copy is just too precious to me i just don't want to touch it in any way i don't want to harm it so i haven't done much so and the first time i read this book was like a few months ago but i still remember every incident and it's just too close to me i really enjoy this book and i don't think i've seen much people talk and love for this book so i just wanted to be um uh, one of the very few who thinks this book deserves five stars for how cool and perfect this book is in its very imperfect ways the part where yuta did that thingy oh i don't know that just that just made me just sit down for a while and just just pause i didn't know how to react to that part of the book but I don't know. That was that was very heartbreaking for me and I did not see that coming. It was understandable for like the distance she had between her brother. That was very understandable and I hope she is okay now <laughs> because she didn't deserve that and that was a very bad thing to do from Yuta's side no matter what he was going through. I I, I couldn't care less because Merit did not deserve such a terrible memory and the father Although I said that I understand him I did not enjoy the um I did not enjoy when he was like caught in Merit's mom's room I was I was just too stunned to speak I wish that wasn't there but it's it made sense it just like made sense in a heartbreaking way and I was sad and um hmm and luck I don't know I just didn't like luck at all I found him super super creepy I just did, I just didn't want him to talk he's more shut up don't talk again but it was okay I don't mind I don't care but that was okay but he wasn't he wasn't a bad guy maybe but it's okay I guess my baby I just want to like go to bed with this book all the time and I think the most amazing part of this book is that this book covered a lot of stuff it covered weird family dynamics the secrets one has to keep not everyone is perfect the bond between sisters because i can understand like having a rocky like situation with your sister and then when y'all find y'all like when y'all bond again it's going to be the biggest bond ever at least for me so i understood that part and i was sad for her till it happened and the most shocking part for me was when harry dressed up as honor i didn't talk about honor yet yeah the whole situation about honor i mm, i just i i just took it as reason to like not like her but she she might be a nice person i don't know deep down but i just didn't relate with honor i didn't want to read her parts i just wanted to skip i don't care much i don't know it was weird but yeah i was there but i don't know honor is a nice person i can say i feel like i related more with the imperfect sister to say the least and that was there although most of the things weren't like realistic to some people but to others they were super super realistic they were super super understandable and they, i'm just one of those who got everything who understood every scene in the book who felt everything in my heart so this book means the world to me and oh the trophy collection like merit collecting trophies i don't know why but i really understood her i felt you i got you girl but like yeah <clears throat> because like i collect a lot of stationery and books when i'm upset so even though that doesn't make sense like my situation and hers but i felt like i related to her when it came to that would i recommend this book to anyone yes i have and they have enjoyed the book as well they've understood the book from my perspective i guess so that was nice but i'd still recommend this book to everyone i just want 
and i want you all to talk about this book in the comments cuz it would mean the world to me because i just enjoyed this book so very much and i don't have any standards for colleen hoover i don't expect her to do this and that in the book she's just i just know her as this writer who's amazing at what she does i mean such awe for what she does but i don't have any specific standard like uh i don't agree with what she does or this or that i don't have any of that i was just overall happy with whatever she's done to the book and i choose colleen hoover because i can trust her writing because i know that i'm going to enjoy her style of writing i'm not a fan of many of the writing styles that other authors have so i find it hard to adjust to them and it was fairly easy for me to adjust to colleen hoover's book so i knew that i could trust her and i got the book and i enjoyed it and i love this book and i hope you all enjoyed this book i hope to make more videos ranting about my favorite books and i hope you all enjoy it so till then bye bye